When you first open a quality assessment form on an included study, you'll be asked to choose either the Cochrane Risk of Bias template or a custom template. It doesn't really matter which you choose as you can edit the domains at any time, but those domains that you set up on this form will apply to all newly opened forms. Here I'm going to choose a custom template. To start adding domains that you wish to capture risk of bias assessments for, click Add Domain. You can give your domain a title and put a description. The information that you enter in the description will be immediately available to each reviewer upon opening the domain. You can also choose whether or not it can apply to individual outcomes. In this example, let's choose to assess the risk of bias associated with blinding of the participants. And I'll specify that the domains can have a judgement per outcome. At the moment, Covenants' quality assessment judgments are limited to high, low or unclear. If you instead want to capture, for example, yes or yes equals one, then I would recommend using high for yes and low for no, and to put this information here in the description of the domain, so that they are immediately available to your co-reviewers when they are making their judgments. You can continue to add domains as needed by clicking Add Domain, as well as edit these by clicking Edit Domain, and then the pencil icon next to the domain that you wish to edit. Once you've set up your risk of bias form, you can cast your judgments. To do this, just click Make Judgment. You'll see that I have my PDF uploaded already to the left of screen. You can annotate directly on the PDF by highlighting text that you wish to copy across to this judgment and selecting the domain of interest. You can also provide a commentary here. Similarly, you can type any comments that you wish. Finally, you can choose the overall risk of bias as either high, low or unclear. If you've specified that domains can have a judgement per outcome, you can choose whether this risk of bias assessment applies to all outcomes or a select group. Simply add the groups you wish to include. In this example, I'm going to start with the primary outcome by adding this as a group. I can then return to this domain to put further judgments for all outcomes as well as any other groups that I wish to make. Once you've completed setting up your risk of bias form, just click complete to the top right of screen. When your co-reviewer also completes their risk of bias form and also clicks complete, you'll be able to complete consensus and export your results. I won't be showing this in this short video. Going back to template management, I mentioned at the beginning of this video that domains that you set up on this first form will apply to all newly opened forms. If we go back to our included list, you'll see that this form is now marked as our review template form. Any changes that I make to this form will be carried over to all newly opened forms. If we were therefore to open a new form, you'll see that this will have that one domain that we've entered. If I then go back to my review template form and make a change, such as adding a new domain, which I'll call domain2 in this example, you'll see that this new domain is on all newly opened forms, but not that form that which I have already opened. I'll show you this by returning to that form that we opened second. 
PUC it only has the first domain entered. If I then go back to a brand new form, we should see the two domains. I like to think of this template management like a stamp. The stamp is a one-time application and making changes to the mould of the stamp does not change the design on already stamped items. When new studies forms are opened, they will always get the latest version of the template, but template changes do not retroactively apply. You can still add domains though to individual forms that, you, that are not your template form.